So guys, I am back with another Biomutant video and today I explain everything you need to know about this game's crazy in-depth character customization system. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more Biomutant, be sure to subscribe. So Biomutant is home to a super in-depth character customization system and today we check out everything we know so far. So getting into the game you first need to create your creature and to start there are 6 classes for you to pick from each offering different stats which you can see on the right hand side of the screen. These stats are Vitality, Strength, Intellect, Charisma, Agility and Luck. What they do is as follows. Vitality's primary attributes reinforce physical well-being and defensive capabilities as we see health and armour. With strength, its primary attribute powers physical offensive capabilities as we see melee damage. The intellect stats primary attribute amplifies mental prowess, improving psionic capabilities and resource generation as we see power, chi energy and energy region. We then have Charisma, its primary attribute bolsters social bearing and charm, inspiring likability and here we see that barter stat. We then have Agility with its movement speed stat as you'd guess, its primary attribute supplements mobility and quickness. And lastly we have Luck, its primary attribute raises the odds of something fortunate happening with its critical chance and loot chance stats. Now the 6 classes all offer different base stats. First of the 6 classes or breeds we have Primal who is described as a nimble developed anthropomorphic breed, a hybrid with a gene mutation making them nimble and dexterous at the cost of a lesser developed intellect. We then have Dundun which is the least developed anthropomorphic breed, a hybrid offshoot that compensates lack of mental prowess with physical strength. We then have Rex who is an extraordinary developed anthropomorphic breed, a hybrid outcast with an even DNA string making it amped for both physical and mental challenges. We then have Hyla who is a regenerative developed anthropomorphic breed, a hybrid with a gene mutation making them extremely tough and resistant. Next up Fip. The Fit Breed is renowned for a highly evolved mind. Its genius is directly interlinked to its power of Kai, which amplifies their psionic output. And lastly here guys we have Mergel. So Mergel is the definition of an idealised breed. Its evolutionary lineage has gone in a direction where form and appearance has dominated over function. So those are the 6 breeds and once you've picked your breed guys you can then mutate them boosting certain stats but obviously taking away from others. What's really interesting here is the way in which it shapes your character, a total badass feature where let's say for instance you boost your character towards charisma, it adds a cheeky smile to your character's face. Going for intellect makes your brain bigger obviously giving you a bigger head. With agility it makes you thinner and so forth people. Pretty cool addition if you ask me. So once you have mutated your breed you then get to pick a resistance. So the world of Biomutant is filled with hazard zones which are vast areas covered in biocontamination, radioactive, cryogenic or incendiary hazards. There are also oxygen deprived dead zones. Boosting your resistance to specific hazards will allow you to survive in these zones longer without specialised equipment. Your resistances will also affect how much damage you can take from hazard based weapons used by many hostiles you will encounter here. And which one you pick guys and which one you go towards you can see runs through the veins of your class changing the colour of your class's right arm highlights. Once you have specced into your resistance you then get to customise the fur with firstly a screen which allows you to change your animal print. For example giving your character eye patches, cheek patches, spots, whatever. Once you've done this guys you can then choose two colours, literally any colour you want, a primary and secondary colour which changes your breed's appearance. Once you are done with the colouring of your creature it's then on to picking its class. Here there are five classes to pick from, Deadeye. Commando, PSI Freak, Saboteur and Sentinel. The Deadeye is a tricky skillful rogue who's chosen a life outside law and society values. 
With this class you get the perfect reload benefit. Your ranged weapons are reloaded instantly and your next magazine is granted a plus 20% damage. We then have Commando, who is trained as an operative of an elite special operations force. Commandos are used to working in smaller teams. This class's benefit is called Fury. Range weapon attacks inflict 10% more damage to the target. We then have PSI Freak. PSI Freaks are experimenting with psionic powers and mutations. They're usually outcasts on a fringe of society. This class's benefits are Spark Ball, which allows you to shoot a ball of electricity at a target, and we also have Mega Mind. Your Kai Energy regen is increased by 20%. We then have Sabotoir, who is a cunning, skilled explorer trained to operate in both suburbs and wilderness. This class comes with two benefits, Twin Silver Grip which allows you to wield two one-handed melee weapons at the same time and also Hypergenic, where your dodge energy cost is reduced by 20%. And lastly guys we have the Sentinel class. Sentinels dedicate themselves to protect a house. Their dedication is for the organisation as a whole, including supreme belief in their dogma. With this class comes toughness, and your arm is increased by 10. And with those choices people, your creation is ready, and you're basically ready to dive deep into the game. From here you learn many many new things, including a very very deep crafting system. You will learn new Wong Fu moves, abilities and much much more. But in terms of the way in which your character looks, you can also equip tons of amazing looking gear found throughout this game. Some of this gear you can see on screen now, looking absolutely incredible. Now it is said it's near impossible for two different builds to look the same, and while judging by how crazy this game's character customization is, that is truly understandable people. But yeah guys, this is what we know so far in regards of the character customization by all mutant offers. And on that note, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more by all mutant, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.